All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Citizen Cycle, the channel where I like to give you my average citizen user perspective with e-bikes and e-bike products. And I'm gonna do a video for you today on tire liners because I've done tire liners before. I did the Tannis Armor foam inserts and man, I love those things. I don't work for Tannis, but I should because I promote the heck out of those things. I think they're amazing. Puncture resistance and it just totally changes the ride quality. So I'm a big fan of those things. So Tannis, if you're listening, Call me and uh, let's work together. So um, I've done Tannis liners before. I loved them and I thought, well, I, I just got this e-bike the other day. We just put it together, put six miles on it and I popped the back tire. You're gonna have that with these big old fat balloon tires that you're riding on. This thing actually got a screwdriver bit that stabbed through the back wheel and we've got a flat. So I thought, let's take this misfortune and turn it into an opportunity to try a new set of tire liners. So I'm gonna do something different this time. I'm actually gonna do the Mr. Tuffy liners. I think this is probably a more well-known brand of tire liners and protectors. So we're gonna try these this time instead because I wanna compare. I'm, I know what the Tannis feels like. And these are the Tannis, right? These big old, huge, huge pieces of foam. It looks like almost like a pull noodle. Um, and it's, you know, like a half an inch of foam that goes inside your tires in this big ring like this right uh, and it makes it so soft the ride is so soft after you put these in there so probably one of my favorite upgrades other than performance upgrades uh, you know with the motors and controllers and whatnot this thing it just it makes it so smooth so I don't know I love these things so uh, and I have an extra set I've been waiting waiting to find an e-bike that I think is worthy of getting this upgrade so the next e-bike I decide to build out is probably gonna get these put in. So I'm, I'm holding these for right now until we fix, or until we uh, find that bike. So to fix this guy, uh, of course, gotta take the wheel off, the back wheel, unplug everything, do that whole jazz, and I'm gonna put these in. These are the Mr. Tuffies. These are, I'll link them in the description so you know the exact ones I bought. And uh, they're the teal version. They're meant for 26 by four fat tires. Instead of getting a big old piece of foam to go in your tire, you just get this thin, like, plastic stuff. Well, rubber. And, I mean, it's going to give you puncture resistance, I'm sure. I don't think it's going to change the ride quality much. So, I kind of feel like if I'm going to do, spend the time and effort to, to do this, maybe I want a better ride quality out of it. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm going to put these in there. Tell you how hard it is to put them in. You know, how they fit inside the tire with the tube and everything. And then I'm gonna tell you if I notice any difference on the ride quality. Cause you certainly notice it with the Tannis armor. It's like night and day difference. So I don't think you're gonna get a different ride quality, but we're gonna pop these in there and, and see what it's like. And I'll let you know, I guess what I think. And you can decide if you wanna buy uh, Mr. Tuffy or Tannis, I don't care. I don't, neither one of them sponsors me. It's, uh, I'll link both in the description so you can find them. This was significantly cheaper. The Tannis, they're like $120 a set. This stuff was like 58 bucks. So, and you get two in here. It's a pack of two. Probably just do the front tire while I'm here. If I'm going to be doing tire changing today, I might as well just do the front too. So I'll probably do both today and get liners in both because I don't want any more punctures. We're going to pop these in and see if half price means half is good or not, right? So. All right, well, it's really not a big deal to take these back tires off. It's not that complicated. I mean, you unplug it, and then you loosen the two axle nuts and the wheel pops right off. So it's not hard to take this off. I pulled out what was popping my tire. This is ridiculous. This, this is what was in my tire. <laughs> ridiculous. How do you pick this up? Obstruction removed and now we need to change the tube. So these tires, I mean, they're not hard to take off. You don't need any tire tools to do this. I mean, they just pop right off. They're so, they're so loose. Here's your tube right here in this pot, but I can probably just pull this whole thing off, even with the tube still on the side. Like, let me uh, take the valve cap off, pull the valve stem out. There, that's how hard it is to take off the tire. It's not, not difficult at all. All right, so with the mongoose tubes, it was just one of the the cheaper ones I could get on Amazon that would get here like the next day. So this is what I bought so for 26 four inch fat tires. And then I've got my, my air pump, which you just dial in the pressure you want and hit go and it puts it to the exact pressure. So let's just get some air in this thing. All right, I got one bead of the tire on. Now I'm gonna put liner in here. All 
All right, I'm gonna start stuffing the tube inside to hold it here. So let's line up our valve stem first. All right, I guess it's wrapped around both edges. I gotta tell you, I'm not as impressed with the fitment on this one as I am on the Tannis. The Tannis, you know that it's wrapped the whole way around the tire, around the tube because the liner is sticking out on the edges and you actually got it. there's extra slack you gotta tuck in and possibly even trim it off. This, it's covered just the width of your tread pattern basically. It's not doing the sidewall at all, so. All right, well, we're back in business. We got this baby back on there. That was super fast. I'm getting good at this. Um, but we can do a review on this bike now. We didn't even get a chance to do the review. I was only six miles into the testing before I popped the tire. So uh, review coming out on this, and probably be out before I even do this video. This is the Sod Rusher XF800. So I'm excited to get out on it and hopefully avoid future punctures with my new liners. And I'll let you know if the ride quality is any different uh, with the Mr. Tuffy liners in there. All right, well, I got Mr. Tuffy liners installed on both wheels of this bike, and I went out and took it for about a, I don't know, 10 or 11 mile ride just to see how it felt. And uh, it felt okay. I mean, I didn't really notice that much of a difference. It felt a little bit softer on the rebound of the tire, but is that because it actually is or just because I know the liners in there? I don't know. It was, definitely wasn't as dramatic as the Tannis liners. Um, I take comfort in knowing that those are in there, but I, I gotta tell you, I guess my personal opinion on this one is I, I prefer the Tannis just because it's, it produces a much softer ride with the foam in there. Plus you get the run flat capability of the Tannis, uh, obviously the puncture resistance. The Tannis wraps completely around the tube. So here it is again, this thing just, it cups the entire tube and you actually might have to trim some of this sidewall to fit in the tire. I usually don't, I just kind of tuck it into the rim. Whereas the Mr. Tuffy, you know, it's like four inches wide. So it, per it covers just basically the tread. It was, a, it was a little bit tougher to install, not hard at all, you know, no problems. It doesn't wobble in the tire or anything like that. No issues with it. I just prefer this because it's so much softer and it covers this, the sidewalls as well. So uh, we got Mr. Tuffy in there. We're going to give it a shot. We'll see how it goes as we ride the bike more. Maybe I'll notice it more, but uh, the Tannis was much more noticeable, I think, than the Mr. Tuffy. So Mr. Tuffy in this bike and hopefully no more punctures. We'll see how it, how it works. If I get a flat, I will let you know, but uh, you've got my vote. Just my opinion, take it for what it's worth. I'll link everything in the description. You can go buy whatever you want, whichever one you think is better. If you're more budget conscious, you might want to go with the Mr. Tuffy. It's pretty much half the price, but the Tannis, man. The coverage, the run flat, the softness. I'm gonna go with that. If I'm gonna upgrade a bike and put the money into it and put tire liners in, I'm probably gonna go with the Tannis. So there you go. Uh, just my user experience. Hope that was helpful. If you like stuff like this, consider hitting subscribe. I'm gonna you know, just keep putting out videos like this to show you my real world experience with all these different e-bikes and these products. But anyway, uh, I, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching, greatly appreciated, and uh, stay tuned for more, I guess.